Hello everybody and welcome to this video. This is some important updates on the MG Rover prototypes that were thought lost in Longbridge. So make sure to subscribe. I am still constructing this studio, so you might have to bear with me. But in this one, there has been some important, important updates, which include the possibility of a news organization picking this up. That is right, we have gained some traction, but it's not over until the cars are saved. So I'm gonna go through a set of new cars that have been found as well that we didn't know the location of that were thought forgotten and a few other things so let's get right into this update the one thing i would encourage from everybody is to share this video drop a comment below on how you think we could do this better and easier and how you can help just watching helps um and who you would go to etc and drop me your thoughts below because this is gaining a lot of traction and we are so close i think to getting these out of there now on with the important updates which of course are very interesting so on to the first update this update of course is the press picking this up now i have been um in contact with mg motor uk i've been in contact with their pr department um, via email and via um, on the phone so I basically spoke to them said you know what we've all been saying these cars are of historical importance you know it damages their brand and um, because the MG brand is largely based on the heritage so you know if you're throwing your heritage in the scrapyard you are undermining your own brand and your own values especially when um, sustainability comes into it with their electric offering so yeah, so I spoke to them about that, had a lengthy conversation with that. They then referred that on to somebody internal who I can't really remember the name of, but they've done that. So that's good. So that's the first part of this. And the next bit, so I was on Instagram um, and I get a message from a news organization, one of the local arms of a news organization. It begins with a B and ends in a C. Um, and they've contacted me asking if I'd like to potentially do some sort of segment to raise awareness of these wonderful things. So that is incredible. Um, for me, this is this is just an, in, an outstanding development because if this goes ahead, which I damn hope it does, we're you know on the the big beebs blowers shouting about these MG Rover prototypes, which is fantastic. So it'll give a bit of new, you know, new vigor, new, it'll uplift this issue into the sort of local and potentially, you know, um, uh, let's just say it'll uplift this into the local consciousness. I'd love it to go further, of course, there's people all over this country and probably all over the world that are, you know, in our little community that are sitting there, you know, raising awareness about this. But we are really, really, really gaining a bit of force and we just need to keep going as I rattle my watch on my fist. We need to keep going. Um, and in this next part, we're going to have a look at one of the, I would say, the most, the most interesting development of this whole thing. You'll have to excuse me because I'm extremely excited about all of this because this is an insane thing that we could actually see the TCV in a museum. We could actually see the RDX 60 in a museum. We could see the MGF GT, the MGF Coupe in a museum. And well, you may be thinking, Tom, you're forgetting the three red cars. Well, we'll get onto that now because thought previously destroyed or missing somebody, an absolute legend has gone and taken a picture for me through a fence. Just another one as well. I've actually acquired the original video, so thank you to you. Um, you know who you are, I'm not going to name any names. Now, this video, I've removed all the audio and everything, but you can see here, this is the screenshots that we originally saw that prompted that first video I made. Um, you can see here, all of the prototypes are there. And in my, this was taken, I think, between, I think, late August. So this proves that the PRs were there at the time, but... We now have evidence that they're still there now. Now the PR1, PR2 and PR3, I'm really sorry about the grainy photos, but unless you are going to go and take a photo, you can't complain about that. 
I'm not a journalist, I'm a dude who likes cars, who sat with his cat recording a video. Um, but anyway, that aside, here they are. Definitely them. There's all three of them there, as confirmed by the eyewitness who's seen them. And this is a very odd development, but is quite interesting at the same time. And, and it sort of shows that they're moving them around at least. You can see on one of the photos, like a car cover's come off of the... I think it's the PR1, because that car's got no roof. So that shows that they're taking a degree of care with them. Um, but, yeah, they still exist. Fantastic. So we're not, we're not out of luck with these ones yet. Now, they've been moved to another side of the factory. I'm not going to say where, but you probably will know if you know the place. Um, they've been moved somewhere else to sort of blend in with other cars. Um, again, I can't comment on MG Motors' intentions with this one. Did they move them because they were drawing too much attention? Did they move them because they wanted to move them? Did they move them because they're going to keep them? They're going to scrap them? Nobody knows. Only MG Motor UK knows. And that's why we need to ask them, why are you doing this? What is happening? Are they going anywhere? And the other thing I got a lot of a bit off topic is I got a lot of people just saying, let the big wigs deal with it. Let the, what is it called? Pillars of the community deal with it. That has been happening for f years, which is fine, fair enough. But, you know, we're also the community. We will deal with this as well. And we're not screaming and shouting obscenities on social media. We're sitting there and going, look, here, everybody, here's a problem. Here's something that we want. Yes, MG Motor UK, etc. own these cars. Of course they do. It's within their good faith to, you know, provide them to a museum. However, we're allowed to comment on things that um, might be a bit uncomfortable rather than just letting some people send a few emails back and forth. And to those people who sort of doubt the effectiveness of this, um, more for you because it's proving a little bit effective at the moment, um, but I could look like a bit of a, an idiot soon. Um, of course, we've gotten this far. We just can't let up yet. We need to keep smashing it. Not literally, but you know what I mean? Because we're doing a fantastic job as a big big MG Rover, Austin Rover team of people who are trying just to get these, these six cars off of the site um, by MG Motor d donating them. I just think it's it's been a right belter um, of a of a set of videos um, for you guys as well. It's been amazingly entertaining and I'm hoping my, that I will not rest and we must not rest. We must not falter until we're stood at the gates watching them be trucked out of there to a museum or to somewhere where they can be safely held or we get the com confirmation by MG that they're going to be safely held. Now, I'm not condoning any harassment or any trespass or any damage that's the last thing i want the thing that we need is to document the state of them so if anybody's going past and wants to take a photo through the fence that's fine with me let us know if they're still there because what i'd hate to happen is they disappear and then we just don't know where they are so that's about that everybody remember keep it respectful keep it legal no vandalism no any of the other stuff um and that's really it we need to save these things before somebody gets on site and smashes them up because if we if we if that happens this is it so again we must not let up the links to various things are in the description um thank you for watching keep watching and remember to subscribe for more of this Hopefully I'll start to do some other stuff soon, but my face really, really hurts. So I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.